What's up everybody out there in YouTube land? Wrath2501 here. Uh, this is a video I found. It looked interesting. Okay, um, this is called, uh, what is it? Mermaid Experiment. It's a horror stories animated. This is by Lele Hill Animated. And I don't think I've ever done any of their stuff because I'm not even subbed to their channel. So, yeah. Okay. I mean... Most people don't realize that mermaid stories are romance stories. They are, in fact, horror stories. So let's see if uh, let's see what they how they manage to twist this one, make it creepy, and let's go. I don't know why people are attracted to mermaids. That's that's kind of gross if you think about it. You know, if you think about the way most things are from the ocean, they'd be all slimy and shit. Well, I guess well, some people are into that creepy shit. Hello, I'm Alva. I am a marine okay. biologist. And I just oh, thought okay. I know how this starts to the then. Virgin Islands how this Institute is gonna go? of Oceanographic Studies. Mattis, yeah. one of my new colleagues, was arguably the team's weirdest scientist. He was extremely <laughs> clumsy, a total loner, often grumpy, and very rarely interacted with anyone. Oh God! As researchers a wee were neck used beard. to working alone. Don't say he Mattis looks like me. That's not funny. He wasn't a team player. He wouldn't tell anyone about his progress or results. I used to think he was a simple, normal guy, but I accidentally discovered his secret, and it definitely changed my mind about him. Oh God, please don't tell me he's the mermaid. That'd just be fucking gross. That day, oh the God. director of the research institute had asked me to bring a folder to Mattis's room. His room was separate from everyone else's, and very few people from the Institute in there World had Warcraft any chance to visit with him. And for <laughs> this reason, most researchers would call it the Mysterious Chamber. When I got there, I knocked on the door several times, but nobody answered me. Since I was in a Probably hurry, I had no other choice but to open the door with the intention of simply leaving the folder on the table and quickly going out. But the scene that awaited me behind the door instantly made me weak in the knees, and my legs began shaking uncontrollably. The atmosphere in Mattis's office was sinister and gloomy. It's true that scientists are free to decorate their room as they wish to, but the uh -huh. layout and decor were really bizarre. The whole room had been painted black, and the dim lighting was a dark red. Emo little After shit. getting used to the darkness, and as I looked around, I saw that an uh, unusual skeleton yeah. was set against the wall. Its upper body was very much like a human skeleton. Okay, so he's experimenting on them, its either lower that or he body created one. Like a fish tail. Had it once been a living creature, or was it one of Mattis's monstrous creations? This that kind of taxidermy was really popular for a while. And I decided to get closer in order to touch the fish bones of the tail. But in the obscurity, my hand mistakenly pushed a lever next to the creature, thereby oh, opening a secret door that led to a downward tunnel. And I couldn't Obviously, help he didn't build this. The, the, the marine biologist I quickly institute, reached biology institute must have had this already. Built at sea level. It contained a There's large aquarium cracked. filled with what looked like sharks. And I assumed this was where Matus got most of his research done. The smell was strong, ammonia-like, and my eyes stung. The walls were made of transparent glass, but strangely, the water inside was pitch black. I really couldn't see much until suddenly a large fishtail slowly started undulating in front of me from behind the aquarium oh, wall. Oh shit, that's where it is. He's, I managed he's to experimenting turn on, a on lamp these things. Set high above my head, but as I looked again in front of me, oh, I jerked the back spit? in horror. The tail was, in fact, a mermaid. Was I dreaming? Was it, in fact, alive yeah. and real? Typical horror mermaid, yeah. That's kind of like what they would really look like. They so look like some kind of vicious monster. Sound. But the poor creature it look like was tied Ariel. up with two large chains and seemed to be in so much pain. The chains seemed to be lightly electrified. 
By what chance, the fuck? I quickly identified the generator outside of the aquarium and disconnected it immediately. Why, dude? You don't know what the hell the that thing is capable then of. The managed to free herself from the chains that were tying her hips, and she <sighs> instinctively dashed towards me. While Dude, growling, you don't know you fucking fiercely. with somebody's research. You know what the hell it is. I was so scared by the scene I was witnessing that sweat started streaming down my temples and Ugh, forehead. Gross. As I removed my glasses to wipe off the sweat, I clumsily dropped them on the floor. I got on my knees right away and started searching for them frantically oh, until my right hand your ass? touched someone's leg. I immediately heard Mattis's voice. And as I put on my glasses, which I'd finally recovered, I looked up and saw him holding an axe about what? ready to cut my head off. Where the fuck did as he, he get that? As he was swinging at me, I dodged each hit by rolling to the side. But Mattis quickly picked up the axe again and what tried the... cracking my skull a Okay, who's time. the real monster? All I could think of was that my end was near. And I was ready to die then and there. Fuck that, kick but him in the balls! In a stroke of genius, I suddenly remembered the sharks and the sound generator that I just developed and was keeping in my pocket. I hurriedly shoved my hands in my lab coat, took out the sonic device, and turned the ring to the maximum level. A few seconds later, the sharks went absolutely insane. They began punching yeah, why their would you invent something to do that? into the glass walls and uh -oh. managed to break the Jaws aquarium. 3D. Jaws 3D. As dun, dun, they slid dun, 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 out dun. of the water onto the lab floor, a first whale tore off Mattis's left arm, a first followed whale? by a second shark that bit off a large chunk of his torso. Oh shit. You know, with a lot of fleshing out, this wouldn't have made a horrible Blood movie. was gushing out of his arteries and started and painting the floor red. But water was oozing out of all sides, too. In less than a couple minutes, the lab had become an aquarium. And I was getting weaker and weaker, fighting the rising waters. What a wuss, man. I struggled looking for a way out. It's amazing, and felt I don't realize that how I many was people about can't to drown. swim. I'm a good swimmer. When a mermaid suddenly appeared before my eyes and dragged me away. Lucky guy, huh? <laughs> when I woke up, I found myself safely lying on a hospital bed, convinced that the mermaid had saved me. I sincerely hope she returned peacefully and freely where she belongs in the wild blue ocean. I, I told this story to my friends. So those tanks must have been connected to the ocean somehow. a lot somehow. of skepticism. They believe that I was probably saved by dolphins and that I mistook them for the mermaid. <laughs> anyway, They've regardless said that times. They said manatees happened, were mermaids. I'm still haunted by this story and I still work at the Institute yeah. and I'm passionate about what I do, but I'll never look at the ocean the same way again. And I'll always be reminded of that mermaid every time I eat a meal of fish sticks. Fish sticks? <laughs> what the fuck was that, dude? That was weird. Okay, is there anything at the end? Okay, there ain't nothing else. Okay, so what the hell was that? <laughs> that was weird. A um, lot of lot of plot holes, but pretty interesting animation. Um, usually the mermaid is the focus of the horror, not the psycho guy who's keeping her. But that's also been a trope too. Um, pretty good, pretty good. I'm 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 gonna give this one a thumbs up. So okay, so Lele Hill animated. Boom! Subscription from me. And I recommend you guys click on the link to the original down description, get down to his channel, and give him a sub. So, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to me before you go. And uh, like this video, guys. I will see you guys next time. Tune in every day for new content, more spooky content for Wrathtober. And bye bye.